Today we are going to see how to mount the cloud drives as a local drive in Windows. Without further ado, let's get started. We will be using our clone to mount the cloud storage and WINFSP tool to mount as a local partition in Windows. Our clone supports all major cloud providers like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Suite, etc. For this example, we will be using Google Drive. Download the R clone files as per your system. You will also need to download WINFSP tool from GitHub. All the links are given below in the description below. Extract the R clone files in your desired location and install WINFSP. Since I already installed, we will be skipping the installation part. Open a terminal in the R clone folder by pressing Shift and right click and open CMD. Or if you have enabled PowerShell, you will see the PowerShell option. Now to configure our clone, type R clone configure and press Enter configure a new remote. Press Enter. You will have to give a name to your new remote. We will name it as Google Drive for this example. Once you press Enter, it will show you all the supported cloud providers. We will select Google Drive for this example as stated before. Type 13 and press Enter. Client ID will not be needed and you can configure your Google Drive without it. So just press Enter. Client secreted is also not needed now, so just press enter. Now you are provided with options of permission to choose from. Do you want to make your Google Drive read only accessible, or read write or full control? Based on your choice press the desired number. I will press 1, since it is my personal computer and only I use it. If you want to specifically mount a drive from your cloud, then put that folder name OR. If you wish to mount the whole drive, then you can leave it empty and press Enter. Then, it will ask if we want to enter Advanced Config, press N. Do you want to Auto Config? Press Y. Then a new browser window will open, asking you to authenticate your Google Drive. Once you successfully authenticate, you will see a success message. Return to the command line now. Our clone will then ask if it is a team drive. Simply press N. Now you will be presented with a unique secret key. You may need this to set it up again. After that, just press Y to finish configuring. Now when you type our clone config, you will see the newly set up drive. Now to mount the drive, we will use the mount command. Press Q and come out of the config. We will use the following command. R clone mount, VFS cache mode full Google Drive P. R clone supports various file system permissions, like read only, read write, etc. VFS cache mode full enables real time write and read from drive to your local system. Google Drive here is a name we gave to our remote when we first created. If you want to find the name of the remote, simply type our clone config. The P here is the drive letter to which you want to mount the Google Drive. All the commands are given in the description below. Once you execute the command, go back to your file explorer and see your drive mounted. See how it is easy. Now let's check if it works fine by creating a folder and adding a file from our file system, and see if it reflects in our drive. Voila! It works just fine. If you want to stop the service, simply press Ctrl and C. In the next video, we will see how to encrypt our Google Drive. Until then voila! If you like this video, like and subscribe folks.